welcome back to the misadventures of pipe carving. Today I've got some uh, Kramer's Father Dempsey and my Cobb Warden. I think it's a Cobbit, part of the Hobbit series. It was a gift to me from a friend. And uh, today we are going to start carving one of the blocks that we got in our uh, Vermont freehand unboxing. If you want to see that video, it's going to be right there. Um, so what I've done is I've gone through, you can see the lines I've, I've drawn on here. So I'm going to start by just doing some rough, rough, rough shaping. I've got a uh, little hacksaw here. Um, I don't have a lathe. I don't intend to get a lathe, so uh, a lot of this is going to be done with uh, the saw, with files, rasps. Um, I do have a Dremel, so I'll probably be using that Dremel as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see. Hopefully this video turns out okay. If not, um, I guess I won't post it. <laughs> so hopefully you'll be able to see what, what I'm doing here. Um, but the first thing I want to do is I've got a lot of extra space. Um, you can see, you know, all this here is all void that I don't need. So I'm going to try cutting some of that off first. So we shall see how that goes. Uh, let's see here. I think we're just going to start. And I'm going to cut outside the lines because I can always sand and and all that to come back. Um, this is a Grecian briar, which means it comes from Greece. And decided that I'm going to actually do this in the vice clamp. So this uh, coping saw that I'm using, I know I called it a hacksaw, but it's actually a coping saw. The uh, blade has a tendency to warp. It doesn't go down straight. And so as you'll see in the various cuts that I make throughout this video, it's not a straight cut. It's, it's bending, and so uh, that proved to be a fairly large challenge in the overall um, initial stages. Look at, look at that curve right there. Uh, you know, it, it proved to be a challenge in the overall carving of the, uh, the or rough carving of the pipe, so... using my little wood chisel to how cool is this as I was getting ready to say there using that wood chisel to pop the pieces of wood out. I don't know how this is going to turn out because it's uh, very spotty on the actual video that I'm 
recording over. But as you all know, I'm an, I'm an amateur when it comes to uh, making videos, so I know it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll get better as time goes on. I hope you guys don't mind the, uh, the faster screenplay. I don't think anybody wants to waste all their time watching me go at a piece of wood with a tiny little coping saw. This was quite boring in real time, to be honest with you. I'll tell you what. It, uh, it was a challenge just finding all these videos because I had just dumped my phone onto the uh, computer and spent a couple hours going through all the files I had downloaded onto the computer from my phone so I could find these videos. And I had like I don't know, 12 or 14 videos that I had taken. Some of them are shorter. A bunch of them are like 20 minutes long. And there's a lot of video that I didn't do um, towards the end of this pipe project. A lot of the fine sanding and uh, I don't know if I recorded the rusticating or not. I don't think I did. Uh, so it's just been a, it's been a grueling, slow process. All the sanding, that took forever. And I don't think I recorded any of that because I don't want to bore you all with just all that sanding. It's just repetitive, mind-numbing. Although I guess one would one could say that doing ASMR or AMSR or whatever it's called off of the sound of sawing wood could work. So I decided to use a... Uh, a burr right here with my Dremel and you know initially it worked out fine to just take off some of the rougher parts and pieces but the burr I was using was obviously uh, too small or too dull or whatever the case may be and uh, I was getting nowhere fast so I'm about to change up what I'm using and I changed to a sanding disc a, um, you know, a 60 grit sanding disc and all of a sudden there we go I'm switching out right now all of a sudden the uh, carving process went so much faster and smoother and it was what much more enjoyable but you can see there I had to put covering over my mouth because it was also spraying the dust like none other I'll say this has been a fun project to work on I'm looking forward to to getting these other episodes done and ready. I think we're going to have probably, I don't know, somewhere between four and six episodes in this uh, pipe carving series, at least for this first pipe. Well, I appreciate all your guys' uh, subscriptions and watching me in my life doing my silliness. And... Uh, if you've liked this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and uh, I'm going to try and make more. Thanks, guys. And gals. All right, so obviously I still need to cut off a bit more of this area here on both sides. So I think I'm going to do that next. <laughs> 